Long division dividing money round off the quotient. When we have an, an amount like $2.80 and we need to divide it by 35 cents, what we can do is multiply each of these by 100. And what that's going to do is it's going to move the decimal place two points back. See? It'll move back two hops for both the divisor and the dividend. See? And then the quotient will have the decimal point straight up from our new spot from the two hops. See? We can do a little math on the side and see that 35 times 7 is not big enough, but 35 times 8 is perfect. That's 280. So it goes in 8 times. Our answer goes above here because we're putting it into the 280. It goes directly above the 0 for the 280. We do our subtraction to get 0, and our answer is 8. So $2.80 divided by 35 cents is 8. See? We move the decimal point to the right two hops for both the dividend and the divisor. See? And this would fit a word problem like Tala had $2.80 and divided it up so that she had 35 cents in envelopes. How many envelopes will she use? We know she'll use eight envelopes. All right? Now, when we have a larger division problem like this for money, $431.17 divided by 13, maybe she's going to put them into 13 envelopes and split this up into 13 envelopes to share it with her friends. What we do is, we don't need to put the dollar sign when we're doing the long division, but you could if you want to. And we have 13 goes into 43. Well, 13 times 3 is 39, so we put the 3 up here above this 3 and the 43. We put our 39 here that it equals, and we do our subtraction and get 4. See? Now it's this 1's turn to come down. 13 goes into 41, it's still 3, that's a 39, we do our subtraction and get 2, and now it's this green 7's turn to come down. 13 goes into 27 2 times, 2 times 13 is 26, we do our subtraction and get a 1, and now it's this 5's turn to come down, 13 goes into 15 1 time, we put our 1 up there, 13 times 1 is 13, we get a 2 left over, and now we're stuck because that's where it stopped, but because we're going with money and we're on the right side of the decimal point, we can just keep adding zeros as placeholders and drop that zero down. 13 goes into 20 one time, so we put our 1 up here. It equals 13. We do our subtraction. 20 take away 13 is 7. We could do it again and drop another zero down and another one and another one. We could keep going to see if it comes out to an even amount. But because this is money, we don't need to divide more than three spaces to the right of the decimal point. $33.21 with this one thousandth of a penny, this one tells that one to stay the same. See? So we end up with $33.21. The number to the right says what to do. If it's a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, it tells it to stay the same. And if it's a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, it tells it to go up to the next number. So what if the quotient was $33, and then it had, for the for the cents, it had 219. Well, this 9 would tell that 1 to go up to a 2, and it would become $33.22 as what it would round off to. See? So when you're doing long division or division with money, just remember, you only need a couple spaces past here. If you go to the third space past the decimal point to the right, it'll help you round the pennies place value, okay, to go up or down, all right? So I hope that was helpful. I had someone ask about that, and I'll see you next video. Bye.